Hi guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back. Merry Christmas and welcome to the official start of my Christmas gift guide series. If you've never seen me before, hello, my name is Sarah and I have a ton of gift guide series here on my channel for every single holiday, for almost every single person. I have Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter, Halloween boo buckets, birthdays, Christmases, you name it, I have a gift guide for it probably. I also have lots of other lifestyle content and beauty and fashion and all that type of stuff here on my channel, so I'd love it if you stuck around. And if you haven't followed me already, you should definitely follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm very active um, over at Instagram, so if you wanna get in touch with me, that is where you can find me. So I will have all of that linked below. But without further ado, let's move on from that stuff. Today, like I said, is my official start to my holiday gift guide series. And today we are kind of doing my, what I want for Christmas, my Christmas gift guide slash wish list, what's on my Christmas list. I asked you guys um, in my last video of what I got my eight-year-old for her birthday and if you haven't watched that I highly recommend it there were a lot of really good ideas um, on that list in that video um, for your little ones if you are interested that was probably the most successful birthday gifts that I have ever given her they she loved it they were really cool she has been obsessed with them still highly highly recommend checking out that video there were some really 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 good gems there um, I know some of you have already um, were so sweet and I had already picked a couple of items up from that video as well that I recommended and I love to hear that so please let me know how your little ones end up liking them um, but in that video I brought up the fact that I um, wanted to know if you guys were interested in seeing kind of like what was on my Christmas wish list this year um, and just gift guides or gift ideas for yourself. I know that especially if you're a mama um, or you're just really busy, it can be kind of hard to kind of think of gift ideas for yourself or um, I know a lot of you guys in the past have asked me kind of like how to like approach your significant other or your family or whatever about, you know, getting some gifts for yourself because you make sure you take care of everyone else and sometimes you get left out and I don't want that for you guys you guys deserve it you work hard you deserve a couple of little gems underneath that Christmas tree and so um, I know a lot of you're like well my spouse never knows what to get and I don't know what to do so I wanted to give you some one good ideas but also a way to do that so um, we're gonna have at least 50 plus ideas on here most of these are actually what I'm asking for for Christmas obviously I'm not asking for 50 gifts but these are just ideas um, and there's some ideas that I wanted to share with you I think they're really fun I think there's some good unique ones in there as well so um yeah all right so my number one tip when it comes to gift guides is to create a Pinterest board now you don't have to have Pinterest you can do this on Google Docs if you want and just have links you can do this on like it's note if you have that I mean there are so many different apps and so many different ways that you can create your own wish list but I feel like Pinterest is by far the easiest especially if you already have Pinterest and the people in your life and your loved ones already have Pinterest I mean you can make an Amazon wish list too which is an awesome easy thing too if most of the stuff you want is on Amazon um, but I have been using Pinterest and doing this for years and years now and it has been the easiest and most effective way to help create a wish list for myself, but also to help to give ideas for my loved ones in my life. Now, um, I, my husband has also created one, um, and it's, that's really easy because, especially if you have someone in your life who's very specific and wants a very specific type of item, and there may be very similar ones, and you just don't know what, having it completely linked and easy to get to is the best thing, I'm telling you. Like, that has saved my butt so many times because my husband is like, really into tech and gaming stuff and there's like very specific things and it could be like the exact same item but it's like off by one number or something and it could totally be a completely different thing so having gift lists and especially with like pinterest that are, takes you right to the correct link are so easy and helpful and i know a lot of you guys are uh, have asked me in the past about trying to kind um like incur like ways to ask your spouse be like hey kind of take care of me or here's some gift ideas or you know bring this up uh to them and this is the best way um, I feel like you could do with just saying like hey I made a gift uh, list idea so just easier for you to shop and it's super easy for them all they have to do is click and like shop the link that you have so highly recommend Pinterest it is the best um, and I make a one every single year you're welcome to follow me I mean I don't have anything like super exciting on here but I do love Pinterest I've had it 
basically since it started and it's like my favorite thing so i do have my christmas wishes 2022 on here and i have 52 pins to share with you um and a couple of extras and i'm super excited to get started so these are just the ones that i am asking for there's in no way an expectation for me to get all of these items in absolutely no way but the reason that i make a really large wish list one for this year is mostly because i want to share a lot of ideas for you with you guys but also because there's a whole vast of variety and ideas of things that I just think are really cool and would be nice to have. But since it is so large, it's awesome for like my loved ones to be able to pick from it where it still feels like it's a surprise rather than just being like, I want this sweater. It's like, okay, these are some ideas and it still feels like they get to kind of like shop for you and like personalize it and pick it out and it's a surprise because I don't know what I'm gonna get. So that's kind of a fun thing. It's like fun to create this like fun crazy wish list, um, but then it still gets it, them to be, be able to personalize it. And it also helps them realize that like, okay, this is exactly the types of things that she's into because she's like made, you know, she's picked multiple of these things I can go from here and buy something you know with based off of that if they just need to have some ideas so that's another reason why I made it kind of large so just don't think that I'm trying to ask for all of these things but this is the wish list um, I think I'm gonna break it down into categories for you guys just to make it a little bit easier you can definitely I will share the link to this board if you just want to go and shop from there if you're interested in looking on it and I will try to make sure I link everything below if you want specific links all right, so let's get started with the first category, which I think is going to be fashion. So I don't have a ton in this category. Um, I don't typically ask for a lot of fashion-y type of items for, you know, wish, wish lies, gift guides and wish lists, but um, I do typically have a couple things every year. Number one, and always is a tried and true, is some PJs. Um, I know that everyone pretty much gets PJs for Christmas, but for good reason, because they're comfortable and they're cozy and they make you happy. And a lot of times you don't think to buy PJs throughout the year um, and it's nice just to get something that's gonna keep you cozy and bring you joy so these are the ones that I asked for this year actually for my mom she gets us PJs every single year and these are from Target I just thought they were really really cute they're plaid and they're cozy I also asked for some little slippers to go along with them because my feet are constantly cold lately like cold all the time I can't stand it it's driving me nuts so um, I have asked for some cozy slippers uh, and the next thing I asked for is this little number so mama if you're watching sorry I'm also I guess I guess I'm married and I'm 31 and I should stop being all embarrassed about it but this little number um for my husband not for my mom because that would be weird I mean I guess she, she I mean I guess she would buy it she I don't know anyway but this <laughs> That's for my husband. I am definitely someone who likes to have like pretty nightgowns and like pretty pieces to wear. Um, I just like to feel pretty, you know? And I feel like nightgowns and like little lingerie pieces um, definitely make me feel like good like that. And it's fun to get them for Christmas, especially if um, it's not something you normally buy for yourself and it's something you're interested in. And I mean, there's so many different uh, places to shop now that are great size inclusivity um, for pieces like this. And so, but this is the one that I found that I just really thought was really pretty and liked for. So I put that on my Christmas list as well. Now, next movie. <laughs> Next moving on the next item is not gonna be everyone's cup, to, cup of tea. I totally know that but for me it is I know this year the big I feel like item for shoes are the UGG platforms um, Not what I'm asking for. I am asking for Crocs now I feel like they were kind of they made a comeback and they were kind of cool like last year Maybe the year before I'm behind but you know, I don't really care about that I want some Crocs now. Never thought in my life I would ask for a pair of Crocs, but here we are. I want comfortable, easy, slip-on shoes that are like mom shoes that I can just like go on the go with. They're just easy, they can be cleaned, they're comfortable, I can wear them all seasons, and Crocs fit that bill. But you know what really sold it for me is that they make Croc charms, they make Croc like little chains. They You can totally bedazzle your Crocs now. Like that's what sold me. I'm like, absolutely I want that. So I have a pair of Crocs on my Christmas wish list. Um, I mean, they have Lisa Frank Crocs now. I mean, you can't go wrong. So I put a pair of uh, black Crocs on my Christmas wish list because they will go with the majority of stuff I have. But I also, you can't forget this item, is a chain. You make, they make chains for Crocs. Most people are gonna be like, that's hideous. Why would you put that on there? But I'm like, that's cute. That's, that makes me feel like me. So I want these Crocs with chains. The ones I have is like a gold chain or the one I put on my wish list is a gold chain with like pearls. It's a little fancy, um, but 
I just think it's really, really cute. Um, and they're definitely one of my top items that I really want, <laughs> want this Christmas. Um, but I feel like it's a good idea too because it's kind of like the gift that can keep going. So for like instance, you get your Crocs and maybe some Croc charms is perfect for a stocking stuffer. And then like Easter rolls around. You're like, I hope the Easter bunny in my Easter basket brings me a couple more little I think it's like gibbets or something, croc charms or whatever. Like maybe I wanna try this chain or I wanna do this or whatever. I just think that there's some like way to add it. It's kind of like a charm bracelet, but for your feet. So um, crocs are definitely up there on my wish list. Again, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea and everyone's asking for like the uh, platform things. I don't care about those. All right, next fashion item is something that I feel like I've seen on every wish list this year is a belt bag. Now, fanny pack, belt bag, crossbody, whatever, whatever, whatever you want to call it. This is what I would like. I have wanted one for a couple of seasons now, but I just haven't like bit the bullet. I know the Lululemon one is like the one to get, but I could care less about Lululemon. Um, I feel like this is the one that's always recommended as like a dupe for it or like one that everyone talks about. And this is on Amazon. It has almost 9,000 views and almost completely five star ratings. The amount of colors that this thing comes in is insane. There's colors for literally everybody. Um, and I'm asking for the black nylon one, but you know, from there, you, it's really, options are endless. I think this is, it's under $20, which is awesome. And I think this is an awesome buy, especially if you have women in your life or your family, like your sisters-in-laws or your cousins or, you know, like a coworker or something where they're in, you know, they're trendy, they like new things, but you don't really know exactly like what to get them. I feel like this is a really good idea. Buy them a belt bag in their favorite color, throw on a pair of socks or a lip gloss or a gift card, or just give them this and you're good to go. I think it's like an easy, cute, intentional gift that feels like trendy and nice to have, but isn't like gonna break, break the bank. This is like what I, this is like the Stanley Cup. For purses to me it's like the trend thing everyone's got one you gotta get one so this is definitely on my wish list um but i think it's absolutely adorable and there's a ton of uh colors and varieties next i put these really adorable socks down on my list again like i just said i'm not gonna go into too much detail they're socks but asking for adorable cute socks great stocking stuffer idea as well as just like a cute little gift they make you happy these were just really adorable and pretty and i loved them so these are on my christmas list with 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 christmas wish list and i'm i'm hopeful for them i think they're adorable oh a fashion item that i totally forgot and it's sold out <laughs> i hope they bring it back but the lisa frank lounge fly collection has been like it would come in stock and sell back out and come in stock and sell back out and they have the Lisa Frank Lounge Fly wallet, and I want it so bad. Granted, I don't think this wallet would fit in the fanny pack or the belt bag, but it's so gosh darn cute and it makes me happy. And can you imagine me strolling in my Crocs with this wallet? I'm good to go with my belt bag. So I'm holding my wallet with my belt bag and my Crocs apparently. I don't know, I just love it. I think it's so gosh darn cute and just makes me happy and makes my like 90s heart just like sing. Okay, moving on to bookish items. So if you are like me, I am a reader. I love to read, it's one of my favorite pastimes and I know that there's like, the book community has grown I feel like for since the pandemic, which makes me so happy. And there's so many good bookish gift ideas for yourself or for the women or men in your life that like to read. You can always ask for prints, um, illustrated prints that are, I mean, there's so many awesome, incredible artists for illustrations from your favorite books like Octar or Crescent City or what have you. You can get book merch, which, you know, some like really cozy sweatshirts or a tote bag or bookmarks. I mean, there are so many different things for very specific books and series if you are interested. Um, go on Etsy, I mean, find, search on Instagram. I mean, there are so many awesome small shops and great ways to support Support, uh, small shops and small businesses um, and those are wonderful items I'm asking for more like specific things that aren't at it's more like broad but uh, those are great items if you have someone in your life that like just finished the Octar series and is like obsessed or something I feel like a good sweatshirt a good shirt a mug I mean there's so many different things you can get and they're so cute and you can go down a rabbit hole which I've definitely been down um, but for myself I am asking for 
a Kindle case. This is um, one that is just so beautiful. It looks like cottage core. It's so happy and cute and vintage, and I just adore it. Um, my Kindle is an awesome book or an awesome a gift i highly recommend it it's one of my favorite things that i have ever been gifted um i've had it for like two years now it is the kindle paper white i think it's like the sage. it's the sage green color i don't know if they make this color anymore um i love it it's one of my favorite things highly recommend if you don't have one and you are a big reader love it uh, especially if you don't have a lot of space in your home to like house books it's great i have this composition book um that my husband got to go with it it's one of my favorites it's so cute it just makes me happy it's lasted it's held up I love it, but I'm definitely somebody who likes to, you know, change it up a bit. And it's been a couple of years, so I would really love to get this little cottage core one. But there's a ton you can get, like, personalized ones. Again, Etsy has a great options. Definitely recommend. Um, the next book item that I'm interested in is kind of a random one. And I wouldn't say it's necessarily 100% a book item, but it is this uh, extra large reading pillow. Now, um, when I was looking for my daughter from when she turned eight, she wanted a reading pillow and I stumbled upon this and had no idea that these existed that were like the luxury. These are like fancy reading pillows. So they're like super stuffed, really jumbo and big and basically just like cuddle you and hold you. Um, I get really uncomfortable at night when I read, I toss and turn because I just can't find a good space. This is like, I feel like this is the answer to my prayers. It just like sits you up and you're just ready to go. And I just think it's so gosh darn cute. So, um, I mean, it's not, it's not cute necessarily. It just looks comfortable and cozy and I love it. So it's on my reading list or it's on my wish list. They have a bunch of different ones that have pretty decent reviews, lots of different colors. It is pretty big and I think pretty heavy. Um, and a lot of people get them for like after surgeries and stuff like that. Breastfeeding, not a lot for the reading, <laughs> but you know, I just think it's really nice. I have no idea where I'm going to put it if I do in fact get it, but it is in my like bookish gift ideas. I'm only asking for two actual books this year. Um, I don't typically ask for uh, books because I just don't have a lot of space. Um, but the one that I am asking for is the uh, Webtoon Lore Olympus. This is volume one. Uh, this is a Persades and Hades um, like graphic novel and it's beautiful. I've seen bits and pieces from it. I love the illustration. Um, I just think it's beautiful. I love Hades and Persephone's story and I just was kind of excited to um, kind of dig into this. So this is definitely up there on one of my uh, most wanted items. I'm gonna say, you're gonna be like you said about everything. Um, and then I also asked for um, a cookbook. I don't ask normally for a lot of cookbooks, but it's something that my mom tends to get me uh, one every year, and I do love cookbooks, but I typically try to find one that I know is going to be really useful, that I will have a lot of recipes that I like and will come back to again and again. Like I said, I don't have a lot of space, so and cookbooks are typically big and take up quite a bit of space, so I don't like to get just like, oh, I, this is, looks good. I like to really try to pick out the ones I like. This is a simple, beautiful food. I just think it looks great. It has good reviews. I follow um, the lady on Instagram and it just looks delicious. So uh, the author on Instagram, the lady, sorry. All right, the last bookish item that I would love to receive is actually a bookcase. Um, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of space here, but I just really miss having books. Um, it's something that I just really, really enjoy one time in my life I have it on my bucket list to have a library and I'm not talking like Beauty and the Beast scale or anything just like a really modest cute like little space that has beautiful shelves filled with books I just want it so bad I love books and I love to be surrounded by them but like I said not a lot of space but I found this really adorable, at least to me, um, shelf that's actually completely, it's on coasters so it revolves around and it makes me think of something that you would find in like Barnes and Nobles and it just makes me happy. Um, my girls are getting older and they're into chapter books and graphic novels and we've just been like collecting a lot recently um, and we just need space and I thought it'd be kind of fun to have like a family bookshelf and things that we ended up like, oh, this isn't really me anymore. I don't really love this. We can end up taking it to like a little library or donate or figure it out but just like curating and selecting books that we just really, really love and keeping close to us. So found this bookshelf, just think it's so gosh darn cute and it is one of my most wanted items this year um, and I really hope I get it. I love it, I just think it's so cute and um, definitely a uh, helpful, practical gift. 
All right, as far as home decor goes, um, like I said, I created like a little book nook for myself that's just two shelves and I like to decorate it with like fun bookish items and bookish merc merch, but also throughout the year, I decorate it seasonally for all the different holidays and it brings me so much joy and I just cuddle up in bed at night in my little corner on my side of the bed with my lights and an ambient room on and my book nook and I am so cozy and happy. It was one of the best like freaking serotonin boosting things that I did for myself a couple years ago. It makes me so happy. And so I like to like add to it. Um, and so I found this beautiful rotary candle holder that is like fairies spinning and flying. I've seen these all over TikTok, but there's a specific creator who goes on lives and she just puts like beautiful music on in the background and has this beautiful setup that she made and you can look out her window and it looks like she lives in like a wooded area it's stunning and she has this rotary candle flyer and i just thought it was so enchanting and beautiful and i loved it and then finally i randomly stumbled upon it on amazon and freaked out i was so excited so this is one of my top 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 asks <laughs> like everything else I keep saying but it's inexpensive it's only $13 and I think it's just so beautiful it's an Amazon choice item really good reviews um so if you have someone in your life who's into cottage core or fairy core you know a teen girl someone who's a big reader um who just is like into like enchanted unique objects I feel like this is a really cool idea and a really cool unique gift to get somebody you put a candle underneath it and the heat um causes it I'm, I think it's the heat Science is not my best thing. I'm gonna say heat, it rises. It causes it to spin. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna say. And it causes it to spin and look like the fairies are flying. It's stunning and beautiful. So, um, definitely recommend, definitely, definitely want. And along that same line, you put mushrooms in a decor item, I want them. I found these really cute candle holders that are set of three and they're just little mushrooms. And you put little tea lights in it. Again, really awesome for fairy core, cottage core, decor lovers in your life. Um, they just make me happy and are really adorable. On that same note, I kind of want to transform the space a little bit um, come the springtime and go more of the cottage core route, maybe with a little bit of like Victorian-y twist and light academia. I have no idea. I just want it to be a little bit different. Um, and so I think a really good option are a pair of sheets some nice good clean sheets are always nice and maybe like a new duvet or something like that I have two options on here one is this beautiful floral I feel like shabby chic and like the cottage core like little small ditzy flowers are just coming back like crazy and I just love the sheet set I think it's so cute and so beautiful and just makes me happy to see and so I would definitely love this and then to go along with this I you could just do like a solid uh, duvet on top or do another floral duvet but I found this gingham duvet cover and they have all different colors but I found this really pretty sage green color and I just thought it would be so pretty with those pink flowers um, and just be like a really pretty cottage core light bright airy room and space so that is on there but I feel like a duvet cover and some good sheet sets or maybe some throw pillows or a nice cozy blanket are really great ideas um, to put on a Christmas list that you may not think about and they're also great ideas to gift um, especially at least throw pillows and blankets Last couple of decor items. I did put this unstuffed poof cover on here. Basically what you fill in this, you can get bean bag filling if you'd like, but you're supposed to use like stuffed animals, sheets, bedding, old clothes, what have you, um, and fill it all the way to the top. Apparently there's a lot of space. Again, we don't have a lot of space here and my blanket collection is growing. And so to be able to kind of store things a little bit easier, I thought what better way than to shove it all in an ottoman that we can use and it's a practical gift that people can use to sit on. We don't have a lot of seating space. And I loved it. I thought this was such a good idea. It's super cute. They have, obviously you can find a ton of different ottoman covers all over Amazon. Um, but this one had really good reviews and I just thought it was really cute and would work, work perfectly um, decor wise in our living room. Um, but just be incredibly like practical and really helpful as well. On that same um, kind of path, I this is now sold out, so it's probably not gonna happen. But they have, uh, Oval House just finally brought these back in stock, but they're the uh, stackable poof with coasters. Um, and they are like four different little seating pillows and or three different seating pillows and you can take the top two off and use those to sit but it also you can just use it for one thing um and it rolls around again we i just like to add like different non-traditional seating options that don't take up a lot of space but add options for people to sit um in our living room and i just thought these were so pretty i love the blush color they also have ones that were like in a blue teal aqua color but i just happen to really like the blush i think it's like warm and inviting 
lastly um these candles are something that i see all over uh, Amazon and wish lists and recommendations all the time. Um, they are incredibly highly rated and they are the um, flameless candles with remotes. There are so many good flameless candle options uh, all over Amazon, um, but these ones come in a bunch of different like colors. You can get dark brown, gray, warm white, warm yellow, white. I mean, you can find all sorts of different ones, but they come um, with a pack of three with a remote and they just like flicker and are really fancy and nice looking. And I just thought they would be nice to add. My stomach's growling. I'm so sorry if you heard that. Um, anyway, I just thought those were really pretty and would be a great decor option. Also a really good option for gift giving, uh, for people in your life who like decor, um, mother-in-laws, aunts, grandparents, friends i feel like those are a really good easy gift idea okay every single year my husband and i get each other a new wedding ring um we don't spend a lot of money it's not like we buy like oh a new diamond ring every year that never happens um but we like to do this it's something that we started a couple years ago and it's been something that is like really meaningful and impactful for us and it just shows you like a collection of all the years that we have been together our wedding anniversary is in november and so it's just right before christmas time and it's just kind of i don't know it's really special and so we find a new ring um every single year nothing that's like incredibly pricey or anything like that you can find so many beautiful pieces now um that are simulated gems or diamonds um that are ethical and um just beautiful ornate vintage looking pieces i mean there's so many different options now without like breaking the bank and so every single year i put um, a couple of ring ideas on my board and he puts a couple of ring ideas on his board i already got his this year and it is so cool i can't wait to show you guys um this year i found two different rings i found this really pretty one on amazon it has really good reviews and it's just a basic solitaire oval cut ring i just like the simplicity of it i thought it was really really pretty a lot of times i have like really ornate vintage looking rings on my wish list because i love that look but i just thought this was simple and really pretty um this is only 19.99 and it has very good reviews again we're not talking like oh you know we're getting real rings here but just like something pretty and that'll last um at least a year but all of my rings have lasted multiple years um and then this is a really pretty one that i found on a shop called two pearl shop um so a smaller business awesome to support them and it i mean it's giant so it's like it's a little too a little too much uh probably for me but it's also really pretty and it's the paris ring um this is a 40 dollars ring again like i said nothing too crazy nothing too pricey just around that kind of like 50-ish dollars to $100 kind of like budget and just like having like a new ring that we just wear for the season. Um, and uh, yeah, I love it. It's like one of my favorite things that we do and um, just kind of give to each other every single year. It just means something. I don't know. It's a collection of our love through the years. Lastly, before we get to the last section, this is just like a random one, but this is a iPhone or a phone holder, a universal car mount. Um, I just need I need a better mount for my phone. I don't really have one in my car and I just don't like it. I normally keep it on my, I have like a kind of like a non-slippable middle console thing and I just don't like it. So um, I want a nice good car mount so I can just hold my, or my phone can be up there out of the way. And if I need to use a map or whatnot, it's there without having me to hold it in my hand and stuff to be able to see. I just want to be a little bit safer. So I just found this one, I had really good reviews. You know, nothing too exciting, but a good stocking stuffer nonetheless. All right, the rest of the ideas are all beauty and makeup ideas. Those are typically what make up the largest portion of my wish list every single year. I love makeup, I love beauty items. It's been one of my passions for many, many, many years now, but it's expensive and I just don't have the extra money to normally, you know, go buy a new palette or, you know, invest in a new beauty brand and all that stuff when I would like to. Um, you know, it goes into my kids and stuff like that. And so it's fun to kind of like get, feel like spoiled and get a new, some, some new goodies to use up throughout the year. Um, and so a lot of these next items are all different beauty items that I'm excited for um, that launched this year and that I'm looking forward to hopefully getting. But a brand that is really big and huge on TikTok this year and with a lot of those things is Rare Beauty from Selena Gomez. And so they have a ton of really awesome gift packs at Sephora this year to try things out. So there's this really pretty three piece set from Rare Beauty um, that is from Sephora and it has three different blushes um, inside to try out and I just think is a really good option to kind of test out the waters. I also in that same um, category found the uh, Milk 
uh, products, which is another really popular brand that have um, blushes, highlighters, and a contour stick. And then it also has a mascara. I love holiday gift sets. I know that sometimes they're not always the best quality, so I don't typically ask for them if I know that they're not gonna be good quality. I don't ask for eyeshadow gift sets because they typically aren't very good. But if um, they are like their regular items but they you know made the mini size or whatnot and they have good reviews i will ask for them i love holiday gift sets so a lot of these are holiday gift sets ideas um same thing with fenty their glosses are the best and so they have this really pretty set um, of three that I thought would be great, a great option to give to the lip gloss wearer in your life. Um, and as well as a number of things from ColourPop, um, their blotted lip. I love a good blotted lip where it looks like it's just like freshly kissed. Um, they make a really lot of good uh, gift sets as well and things where it's like you can buy the whole line of something which is kind of cool. Um, but just a couple of good stocking stuffers ideas and ColourPop is great because they are a, more inexpensive beauty brand and on the color pop option i did pick two different palettes that i would love to get uh the she's a rainbow palette i just think is stunning lots of different shimmers lots of different mattes um i want a good colorful palette i don't have a lot um because i've just always been into neutrals but this year i'm really trying to branch out as you can tell i went a little bit more colorful on my eyes today pinkies and purples i love the like cold girl trend right now um i just think that it's so cute and pretty and so i don't know i like to try new things so um also the fade into hue palette looks really beautiful on color pop as well another rainbow like shimmery palette um i feel like you only really need like one good solid rainbow colored palette uh, to get your needs met so those are on my wish list also with ColourPop, they have, like I said, the vaults that they come out with, and these are all cream gel liners, um, all different colors. And I just thought to kind of add to my collection, again, to kind of help enhance the rainbow looks. Um, it comes with a huge pack of gel liners, um, and they have good ratings, so I thought it'd be fun. They also had a Lizzie McGuire collection that came out, and I loved Lizzie McGuire. I think I've talked about her, my obsession with her in the past, um, but, they had this glitter gel. You give, you put glitter on something, I want it. I love glitter. I love glitter eye makeup. That's like my thing. I am always asking for glitter stuff. It just makes me so happy. But this glitter gel from L the Lizzie McGuire line is so cute and pretty and it just makes me happy. So that is on there as well. As well as another uh, couple of their uh, Super Shock shadows. These were the things that originally released from ColourPop way back in the day um, that I loved. And they kind of like changed the game at the time. Um, and so they have a couple of different color options and I put them on there because I just think they're pretty and they're really easy to use especially if you just want to like grab and go quick swipe of color and you're good to go all right I also put a lip oil on there I feel like lip oils blew up especially with the Dior lip oil I'm not putting that on my Christmas list I just can't get behind the 34 35 38 dollar price tag I can't although this isn't that much cheaper but the Lady Gaga uh, lip oil from house labs uh, came out and it has really good reviews and I just like the colors. I think they're really pretty um, And so I did put one on there begrudgingly So we'll see but um, I just think they're really beautiful lip oils are so big right now So they're fun to give for the teens in your life or the beauty lovers in your life. They're super trendy right now especially the Dior lip one um Along the glitter lines, Milani came out with this Days of Disco Hypnotic Lights Holographic Eye Topper Kit. Again, glitter toppers, toppers for eyeshadows are so fun and I feel like really just like amp up the look. And this is a set of four for $12.99 and it's like a really good stocking stuffer um, and I just think it's so cute. I also um, saw this on TikTok and it's like a spray glitter. <laughs> It's a spray glitter and um, you're supposed to use, like you can use it and just spray it, but it's better to use like lotion because then it helps adhere. But like if you have a fancy night out, like birthdays or like uh, bachelorette parties or going on, like getting married or something, you want to be glittery. It's just fun and like people put it in their hair. I don't know. It's kind of silly, but I think it's fun and cute. And so um, I put that one on there and it has a glitter refill for it. Another thing is the ColourPop. Uh, body glitter duo again more glitter but this time for your body so similar to the spray but it's actually more like chunky glitter that kind of stays on um, <laughs> and then I did ask for two palettes from the Michaela um, 
with glam light i love michaela on tiktok she is beautiful and so just like kind her heart is so sweet i just adore her and she came out with two pal eyeshadow palettes for glam light um, but i actually really really like the second one i think it's beautiful and again just like something new and not anything i have before i'm trying to pick palettes and eyeshadows because i have so many there are things that i don't have um, that are unique and really can just like add to my collection and this is definitely beautiful it's only 25 dollars um i just thought it was so stunning and then she also came out with a highlighter palette uh with that same collection and i just think it's really 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 pretty and i think those would be beautiful together natasha denona comes up with beautiful eyeshadows this is a really beautiful palette um that is a pastel eyeshadow palette i just love the shimmers in this it's a bit pricey it's 69 dollars her um, makeup it can be a bit expensive i would love a pat mcgrath palette there is one that i just like covet it is so beautiful but it is so expensive maybe one day maybe one day but not today that is not on my list but if you have a luxurious makeup lover in your life or you really love luxurious makeup absolutely check out the pat mcgrath line they have she makes beautiful beautiful makeup um and highly recommend also charlotte tilbury is huge um really great luxurious makeup line as well and huge on tiktok and instagram uh, right now so um that's a really good line to check out as well um if you're trying to shop for yourself or shop for somebody who is into all of that and you don't really know what brand to start at again more toppers lots of different like eyeshadow toppers i'm just gonna put pictures up here because i have like so many i want more glitters i want more toppers just whatever can like jazz it up get it for me because i just love it they're so fun so i have a list down of just different ones that i would really like um and then i really love the um makeup artist from euphoria i feel like that makeup really changed the game for really like the culture right now and like kind of what is in and what's trendy and people just really going outside of the box with their makeup and it's just really inspiring to me i love the makeup on euphoria and i know a lot of other people do uh that makeup artist actually created her own makeup line called half magic and she came out with this really cool winged eyeliner tool so if you have a problem with doing your liner or you know again like a young girl who's just getting started or somebody who like really likes to do liner but it's not really great at it this kind of helps like perfect and make a winged liner just so much easier i like wing liner but it i it's the struggle for me it's i can't stand to do it because it just takes so long and i mess up so i'm hoping that this could be a good helper for me um i just think it's really cool and innovative so we will see i really like that moving on to more kind of like skincare things um skincare is always on my christmas list as well um now that i've gotten older i have now kind of gone away from all the gimmicks of skincare so less of like the watermelon things and like the like all of the ones that i feel like are like really popular but are just like multi-products so they have like tons of different things in it i have found for me in my skin tone and as i've gotten older and i feel like this is like a pretty well like backed dermatologist viewpoint is like the less the better finding something that is like really good at its one job and not buying a product that has like 50 different claims in it um and that has made the biggest difference in my skin rather than buying all the stuff that smells good or all the stuff that has like oh it's gonna brighten and it's gonna tone and it's gonna do this and it's gonna do that it no buying a product that is just like this is what it's meant to do it's really good at that one thing and it's changed my skincare game so my skincare wish list items are not fun and exciting but they are definitely helpful and they definitely make a huge difference i love the little roche pose moisturizer that is a huge one on my, there it has uv uh, sunscreen in it. it is fantastic it is my absolute favorite one um and then i also have a night cream by different to try out i'm I'm, I want to get into the retinol kind of like field, but I'm a little nervous. I may wait a little bit longer because I don't think I quite eat it yet, but soon enough, it'll be time for retinol for me. So um, this is kind of a good option though for those of you who do like retinol. Um, it's supposed to be really good to uh, use with it because it's really hydrating and helps um, with the dryness that retinol can cause. And so, but it's just basic. Again, not very expensive, but just like a basic, really good hydrating night cream. I also found these Pacifica reusable eye masks, which I think are brilliant. And so um, eye masks 
are really big and you can buy a ton of them on Amazon um, that are really awesome, but they, you know, they're disposable. You can't reuse them. These ones are really cool because they're meant to be reused. So you put your own serums on them or moisturizers or eye creams or what have you, and then you pop them on there. And then when you're done, you take them off, you clean them and wash them, dry them and put them back in the case. Reusable. I feel like obviously that's awesome. I love the fact that you can recycle um, and reuse them, but it's just, I think it's just a cool, it's a really cool concept. So, um, and good reviews. And I just think it's like really awesome and a good stocking stuffer as well. And lastly, this is another skincare item, but this is the Bliss Clear Genius Acne Body Spray. Now, I don't get a lot of acne, and I don't have a lot of body acne, but uh, recently I was talking with my best friend, and she was telling me that she started using a... Um, salicylic acid spray and it ended up getting on her chest when it was supposed to be for her face but it cleared up anything she was having on her chest and I have a lot of issues I have a rather large chest um, and sometimes I can get like clogged hair follicles or just an uneven tone around here and it's not looking so great um, and that's something that she deals with and it completely cleared it up um, and then I recently was watching some dermatology, dermatology TikToks and stuff like that and people were talking about the same thing of like it made such a difference for them and what they were recommending and so I want to try it now so I got it mostly for up here in this region um, again I don't have body acne but this one had really good reviews um, I love the bliss line um, and I just thought it'd be like fun to try like why not um, so that is like a random one, but kind of like a, I guess like a fun one. Um, there are a couple things that I didn't mention on here that I will have linked below just so you guys can go and see, um, for yourself, some of the items that I didn't include, um, just for funsies. But again, like, I hope I give you some good ideas. These are the personal ones that I would like for myself. There are tons of good guides here on YouTube for ones if you want even more broad items that the people go through really fast, but just to kind of break down things that I personally want. Like I said, I will have everything linked below. Um, I hope I gave you some good gift ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching and get ready because the rest of my gift guides are coming really soon I'm just waiting for everything to come in the mail. I feel like the mail has been so slow this year I've had so many comments of you guys being like are you got you're gonna post is it coming? Um, and it is I'm just waiting for everything to be delivered. So once it is don't don't worry They are coming. I'm so excited to share them with you. So um, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays And I can't wait to see you guys really soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys